Hi, my name is Chris Wade, and I'm a contractor from the City of Los Angeles. Today I'm going to show you how to install tile on a wood kitchen table. Okay, you are in your kitchen and you have a wooden table, and you decide you want to uh, put ceramic tile on it. It's a very easy process. Um, assuming this is our kitchen uh, table, the wood, um, we cannot put ceramic tile on wood. We have to cover the whole thing with the hardy back material, which is specifically designed for tile to surface. Um, you want to find the center of your table. After you screw down your hardy back, you find your uh, center of your table, and that's one you, where you want to start with your edging. We are using a V cap, an inch and a half V cap, but there are other alternatives that you can use. You can just find those out at your uh, local tile store and just tell them what your project is. But for this purpose, we're going to use the V-caps. We're going to take our ready-made thin set and we're going to butter the back. And you're going to find the center of your tile and you're going to line it up with the center of your uh, kitchen table and you're just going to put these down. Now there's a couple ways you can do it as far as the spacing goes. You want to, you know, push it down, let the stuff ooze out a little bit on the side, get a good fit there. Um, on this particular table, we're going to do what's called a butt joint, where we're not going to have any spaces there. And the reason I prefer to do that <clears throat> is simply because on a kitchen table, you're going to have food all over the place. So I want to eliminate as much of the grout lines as possible to eliminate from having to uh, clean them all the time, and it'll just be a much cleaner thing. So no spaces uh, necessary on this uh, particular one. Just butter it. Whoop. My mistake. And just set it down there. Just push them together. There will be a little bit of a, of a gap there, but that's okay. So that's, that'll take care of your edging, and that's going to go all the way around the table. And you're going to start in the center and work your way to each corner. And when you get to each corner, you could either uh, miter them. If you have a, uh, um, a, a tile saw, that'll do that or you could use a, uh, a, a, a corner. Not all V-caps are gonna come with corners, so you have to check into that depending upon what you choose. So anyway, so here we've got our caps down, and now we're just gonna set some of the tiles up on the surface. You just wanna plop it on, and then you wanna take your notch trowel and just start spreading it around. Keep it up at a 45 degree around that type of an angle. You just spread it around. Again, just mix as much as tile as you can lay down. And as before, we want to start in the center, which is on right here is about here. And um, you just want to start here. This is our center and you just want to lay them down. Again, no spaces, so you just want to butt them up to each other as best they'll go. And just work your way down from one end to the other. The other thing you want to keep in mind too is your distance uh, from front to back. You want to measure it out, lay it out, find out what symmetrically works best for you, and then just cut accordingly. A lot of times you'll end up with a smaller border going all the way across, but you're just gonna have to do the math on that. Now there's two ways that you can do it. Once you get your, your long way um, set, as you start your second row, you could either line them up with each other or you could uh, stagger them like that. Other options you can do too is you could put some sort of a mural in the middle and that's something you can pick up from your uh, local uh, tile shop. But we're just right now, we're just gonna stagger them and just put them in. It goes real easy when you don't have to worry about spacers. Just keep going and going. And again, when you get to the third one, you'll just basically line it up with the first one. And keep working your way until it's all done. And you'll want to fill in the whole pattern, front to, front to back, left to right. And then once all the tile is set, wait at least 24 hours to grout it. And that basically is how you would take an old kitchen table, a wood kitchen table, and turn it into a nice ceramic table.